right, let's come to order. Mr. Moe, does the state have any further questions? No, Your Honor. Okay, Ms. Nixon, your defense team is up. Thank you, Judge White. Your Honor, my client cannot possibly be held liable for battery of the plaintiff. First of all, an act of battery must show intent. And as we know from the Tulane Law Review, intent is uh, the conscious desire to cause the law review. And Your Honor, because of what is said in the Louisiana Law Review as well, my client, Miss Nixon, seriously, are you telling me that you could not find any actual cases on lack of intent in a battery case? Your Honor. In Louisiana? Just what are you trying to present to me here? I use these. They're just as good as cases. Law review journals. Um, Ms. Nixon, that's secondary sources. It's not the same thing. While secondary sources are persuasive, they should be used to point you in a good direction just to get you started. But they shouldn't be used in the instance where actual case law already exists. Miss Nixon, that is correct. A secondary source is not the law. It's a commentary on the law. A secondary source can be used for three different purposes. It might educate you about the law, it might direct you to the primary law, or it might serve as persuasive authority. Few sources do all three jobs well. That's right. What you have there is a law review journal. Those are scholarly journals that are often written by law students or law professors as a sort of problem analysis approach to current law. Uh, most schools publish their own in print or online sources, and they've been used persuasively before, but again, Again, only should be used when there's an absence in discussion of the law or the issue that you're searching for. And Miss Nixon, law review articles are non-binding authority. You should use court reports or even the civil code to locate binding authorities. While you did use two from the appropriate jurisdiction, you failed to seek out primary authority first which would have helped your client's case. Or you could have used the law review articles you found to further your knowledge on the subject or to point you towards more relevant primary authorities. Oh, I think I get it. I should use secondary authorities like law review journals as a good research starting point or if I need more in-depth information about a subject. They may also help point me towards the primary authorities that I will use in my court cases. Yep, that's right. Wow, that's great. I actually learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> I move for summary judgment. Denied. <laughs> <laughs>